Okay, so here we are on the home page for studyupemt.com. These guys have put together a web page that will help any student, whether it is basic, advanced, or paramedic, trying to get your NR test completed. So here we are at the home page. So as you can see here, some things where you can check pricing. Um, I think this is funny here how they have basic, they had intermediate and then paramedic. They just did it funny, crossed it out, put advanced. And as is the standard for National Registry, let's change the names of these things as many times as possible so that we can confuse people. So you scroll down here, you can see a uh, few different items to click on. You got your pricing, uh, if you want information about them. If you want a free two-day access and quick test review, that's there. If you just want to take them for a test drive. Uh, come down here and you have some uh, literature here about people who have succeeded using this. This is just a this month's membership so you can kind of see who else in the country or at least the number of people in the country who are utilizing this resource uh, here's a free test that you can click on if you want to just kind of see where this system will put you or how it fits into uh, your study plan and then if you want to advertise if you are a uh, another company that is in this industry and you want to advertise here that's there for you as well. So we scroll back up to the top, make sure you uh, like them on, we have Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, so here on the home page you've got this the pretty standard links to click on. You go to home, you can buy a course if you just want to get the two-day access you can do that as well. Now you will need to uh, basically register as though you were signing up. They just won't ask for any payment information. Information about them, if you have some test anxiety, there's a, a cool link to click on there. Some blog information, uh, testimonials from people who have passed, some rationales for some of the questions, which if you are studying for the NR, uh, that will help you immensely, kind of understanding why it is what, you, what it is. Despite what book you used, if it's the Pearson Brady, if it's the Mosby's, or if it's the AOS, whatever book you are studying from, uh, the rationales are going to be a little confusing, most likely. And that is because the book that you're educated through and the curriculum you're educated through across the country versus the national more than 50% of the time don't seem to get along very well. Uh, there's some success stories, kind of goes along with testimonials. Uh, the disclaimer, if you need to contact them. Now, this is a great uh, aspect of them. These guys have stayed in contact with me throughout this process, and they're they uh, very good when it comes to customer service. Anything I had issues with when I was trying to uh, get my free login so that I could take this thing for a test drive, they were wonderful. Uh, they got back to me immediately, never had any issues with that. Uh, there again, there's that uh, free test link if you don't want to scroll down. If you want to advertise with them, and then there's your log in, log out. So once you've decided what you want to do, once you are on, you come back into here, you're just going to click on your log in. That is going to bring up your log in page. Uh, unfortunately, my internet is not great, so we're just waiting for that. So here's your login page, you're just going to put in your information, put in your password. Um, if you're going to be using it repeatedly, click remember me. Uh, and what is nice is, again, this is a web-based platform, so you can do this from anywhere. Because it is web-based, it will hold your information, it knows who you are. It's not an app that you have to worry about crashing. This is a web page. They hold all of your information, they hold all of your scores, so you can go back and you can review everything. So once we log in, again waiting for the internet. So you're going to have this here where you got your dashboard, your courses, you can edit your account. Uh, if you do have a voucher, uh, you can do that. Uh, I 
I'm sure that will work great for some schools or uh, education systems that are going to use vouchers for them. Uh, you'll be able to redeem those there, talk about your order history, so it's just got some basic information here. So you just scroll down here and you can see that you have the into basic course modules. That's the one that they have allowed me to check out. That's the kind of course that I teach. So these are the guys that, uh, are, this is the platform for which my guys will be utilizing. So I wanted to see what that was looking like. Uh, I have completed it 100%. Actually, it was a graduate of mine who has run through the system. And she is uh, still awaiting her test date. So we will see how that goes. Um, here's some more information. Here's the, the free test if you just want to go straight to that. Now, one of the nice things is that this is broken into modules. So for a lot of EMT students, uh, this is going to be familiar to you. So it, the, the mode and method for which they do this will be something that you're familiar with, uh, sort of similar to some other uh, systems that are out there for the actual course studies. So just go ahead and you can click on the module. And here it shows that there's 40 modules for you to utilize. So, and you just roll right into the quiz. Um, you've got the, the module you're currently working in, and then this would be the next module. So you can actually, once you're completing, you just drop right into that next module. So the questions, they are uh, very indicative of the NR. If you're not familiar with the NR, or you're not utilizing any other methods for NR, practice or training, they are definitely not going to be something that you are used to. They are not going to be something that uh, you have seen before uh, as far as, um, unless your instructor has set their program up as such. Now if you're going to one of those schools or you attended one of those schools where they train you to pass this test, then that's kind of the direction that they go with their education. Uh, now I do not do that. At my school uh, I teach my students to be EMTs. Passing this test, especially here in California where we are, um, once you pass this test the first time you don't ever have to redo this. It's not something you are required to renew because the state of California has their own system. Uh, it's the state of California so pretty much everything is broken. Uh, however, the questions that you're going to get uh, are going to be very detailed and you may have five right answers to choose from as your selection. So now the options are which is the most rightest. Uh, that's the way I like to joke about it. Uh, and there will be a lot of questions like that. You're generally able to rule one or two of them out fairly easy, but now you're left with two to three that all sound about right. So now you have to decide based on the scenario, based on the information given, which one is the best option. So if we come into the quiz here. So here uh, for question one, what are the four EMS training levels in order from least to greatest? Fairly simple, uh, it's pretty straightforward. We always begin with EMR, then EMT, advanced EMT, and then into paramedic. So that would clearly be the answer. Hence the post. If the patient is lying on his or her stomach called what position? That's face down. So we go to complete, and it gives you a score. So I know I intentionally threw a couple of those off in there. So I missed two. And you can view your summary here. So it's just gonna run through and you can actually see the two that we missed. And caring for a critically ill or patient, what should you do? Be honest. Okay, so that's the one that we selected. So obviously it was um, the all of the above. Informed consent, that was the one that I didn't particularly like. Uh, and the way they phrase this versus what they actually are, 
And this is always a problem for those of us who've been in the business for a while. We kind of know that the definitions are pretty vague. So definitely when you are studying these, make sure that you're answering them for the material that they have provided. Um, it's I've found that the NR is, is quite a difficult test for one of us who have been doing this for a long time uh, just because how they want you to answer it versus the reality of what we see in the field uh, for those of us who've been around uh, very very different so at this point um, pretty standard pretty straightforward uh, I do like how the system gives you the the, uh, the ones that you missed what your selection was so that when you do go back because you will notice that there is a score of 80 percent required to move forward now we got an 83 on this uh, so we would be allowed to move forward you can go back and redo it so that you can do those ones over again or if you choose not to you can just continue moving forward um, but it does tell you what your answer was and you know that that was a wrong answer so what I do like is that it does not give you the answer so many of them will just tell you oh what well, the answer is this no that's not a very valid way of studying um, so if you missed it you selected this okay now you need to figure out why that was wrong why you need to select something different so that's one of those, uh, I really like the way they, the, the method they're using with this because now it's up to you. And this is a study method. If you expect the answers to be spoon fed to you, well, this probably isn't the business for you anyway. You need to do your homework, you need to study. Uh, so I definitely like that aspect of it. Um, so that's what the testing part of it looks like. A couple different people here, and once you have passed, they always encourage uh, for people to come back on. Uh, you can either do it here directly on their website and send in your testimonial here or take a photo like so many people do take a photo of your certificate and your patch and post that on your social media choice and tag them uh, at study at the MT or hashtag study at the MT and they will uh, definitely give you some credit for that and put you up on their page as well um, if you have some test anxiety you know, everyone does. This is not an easy test, uh, and for a lot of people, that passing it the first time is critical. So it's it is very stress-inducing, and they get that, as do all of us. So they have some really good pointers here. Um, definitely pay attention to these pointers because they are stuff that you'll hear from everyone who has taken the test. These are very important things to, to pay attention to. Don't, don't drill yourself too much into the material in the immediate time frame. Uh, the, the last few days of your study period before your test, don't cram. Uh, and they, they pointed out here in the first one. If you don't know it by that point, you're not going to know it. And there's no way you're going to remember it because your anxiety and your stress level is kicked up already. So it's not going to be retained uh, so really good pointers there uh, and again if you have any uh, issues any questions definitely contact them put your information in there how did you hear about them uh, send them an email and generally they are very quick to reply and get you taken care of uh, even if it's just a question about their their material or their software so that is studyupemt.com. Um, I'm hoping to see some results from the student that did use this to study from. I have gone through it as well, and uh, I myself have done fairly well uh, without even studying for this. Uh, but again, I do have a number of years' experience on this topic. So studyupemt.com, highly recommended for anyone. Um, I know there is a lot of different resources out there, apps, uh, web applications, websites, books. Um, but one of the things you definitely want to do is diversify your studies because not every method is going to work for every student. So you got to find the one that works for you and push through it and good luck. 
if you have any information or you, you need any information rather contact study up EMT uh, do the contact uh, they also have um, their social media sites as well you can hit them up on there again they're very receptive to questions and they will reply to you quickly studyupemt.com and good luck everybody